What's up, Diet Badass fam? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now, today we are in the kitchen and we are cooking up something special for each and every one of you. I wanna stop and say Happy Easter. I hope you guys enjoy your time with your family. Or even if you're not with your family, make sure you give them a call and check up on them. And before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this content is something that you want to see every week, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss a moment. You don't miss a video. You don't miss none of that. But anyways, today we are going to be making some Jamaican jerk jackfruit. Yeah, I, I was inspired today. You know, I, I was thinking, man, this is kind of vacation season and everybody's on quarantine right now. So why don't I just bring some kind of Jamaican slash Caribbean dish together for each and every one of you? I know you guys are going to love this, and if you don't want to miss it, so stay there, watch the whole video, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the sauce. So we have the soy sauce, we have the brown sugar, we have the pimento seeds. They're not fresh, but they're dry. We have the pepper, we have the sea salt, we have the vinegar, we, we have minced ginger, onions, olive oil, green onions. We have some thyme, serrano peppers, and we have some garlic. And that's what we're gonna need. So now we're going to add all of these ingredients inside the blender like that there. And please believe I will have the recipe for this sauce in my description or if you follow me on any of my social medias, I'll have it there as well. Certified Diet Badass for Instagram and Certified Diet Badass for Facebook. But anyways, back to the show. So we're adding all of the ingredients like that there. I mean, look how beautiful the colors are. I mean, when I made this, this was actually my first time making this and it tasted so good. I couldn't believe that I achieved this goal. I've been wanting to make a jerk sauce for the longest time. So we are going to blend all the ingredients inside the blender. And it should look something like that. I don't know, not the best, but it'll work. So we're gonna grab our freshly rinsed jackfruit. I'm going to keep it whole. If you want to find out how, if you wanna find out more on how to prepare your jackfruit, take a look at my uh, jackfruit nachos. I break everything down for you. The description should be up on top somewhere. But don't click on that link yet finish watching this video first. So we're gonna massage everything in, make sure all these pieces are worked in properly. Everything is infused beautifully. And I'm not done yet, I'm gonna put the top on, shake everything in, and we're going to let this sit and marinate in the refrigerator for about two hours. The reason I chose two hours is because, A, I'm trying to shoot this video and I'm pressed for time but regularly you just wanna do it like overnight or something. So once that's sitting in, we are going to make our mango slaw. So I just take one whole mango and I don't let anything go to make, uh, blah, I don't let anything go to waste. I'm cutting every piece that I can and I'm just making small little slices just like that. On to the red cabbage what we're gonna do is just a small head and we are going to cut this in half we're only gonna use half of it because it's just gonna be a small amount but if you're cooking for more people 
please use a whole head, but use two mangoes. Back to the show. So we're gonna slice it up just like that, nice and pretty. Keep it off to the side. And then we're going to cut up our cilantro. We're just gonna use one bushel of cilantro. Cause like I said before, it's just going to be, you know, a small amount. No one's gonna be eating that much of it. Or, you know, it's a small house of, of people, so. But anyways. <clears throat> Put it all into the bowl just like this. It doesn't have to be in a specific order, but just get it into the bowl. And what we're gonna do is we're going to mix this all together, make sure everything is nicely twined just like that. Look how pretty those colors are we are going to make our dressing and again i will drop the ingredients on how to make this dressing in the comments below or again my social media so i'm adding just a little bit of olive oil and then i am adding some apple cider vinegar i don't know i was tr struggling saying that i'm gonna add my salt but make sure you guys do like taste test as you go you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna mix everything in together taste test i'm thinking it needs a little something else so what do i do yes sir some chili lime i mean this set this little slaw off i'm telling you I don't know where I'd be coming up with this stuff. But anyways, I just mixed all that in together. And again, family, don't be afraid to experiment with different flavors that you have, you know. Use this time, this quarantine time, to just figure different flavors out and experiment. That's what makes everything fun. So yeah, we're just going to add what I just made into the slaw. And of course, you guys know what's next. I'm gonna give it a nice little mix. Look at all of it glistening and looking all nice. I'm telling you guys, this slaw tastes so good. I didn't even, I don't think I had any left over. Everyone just tore into it. Plantains time. I don't know if any of you ever experimented with plantains, but this is like my fourth or fifth time doing it and my first time was an epic fail but you want to make sure you want it's a real thick skin so you want to make sure you slice into it but not too deep and then you want to peel everything around it's like a harder stiffer banana That I struggled through peeling that plantain I am going to make little diagonal cuts you don't have to necessarily do it this way but I'm trying to make it fancy at the end I want the end result to look you know how I do fancy so yeah we are going to dress these bananas up you know I'm not gonna go plain Jane you know how I do so anyways we're gonna put the plantains in this bowl And what are we gonna do next? Add a little bit of oil, garlic powder, and oh yeah, some chili lime. These are gonna end up tasting like, kinda like a fry. And then this stuff is arrowroot. It's going to give it that crispier, um, it's going to give it a crispier texture. And then we're just gonna toss it around, just make sure everything is nicely coated. And then we are going to put these in the air fryer on 370 for 20 minutes. But halfway through, we're going to, you know, flip them. And then the remainder time, keep them in there. And then you are done. Just like that death. Look at how nice and crispy those are. These actually taste like fries, but, but better. 
way better. You guys really have to try. If you guys haven't tried plantains, you definitely have to try them and try this recipe. Again, it's going to be in my description. And look at there. The jackfruit is all seasoned and all marinated. So I'm going to take a baking sheet. I'm going to spread it around just like that there. And then we're going to put this in the oven on 400 for 20 minutes. And then after that, we are going to broil it for another five to 10 minutes. And it should come out looking something like that there. Now, when I first seen this, I was like, man, that looks like chicken. Now, the reason why I chose to do the broiling because you see the little dark crispy spots on top. Yeah, that kind of gives it that chicken type of texture, that chicken type of look. So I think I accomplished the goal. You really got, guys, you really have to try this jackfruit. It tastes amazing. And again, after it cooks, you just want to break it up just like this into little pieces. Remember how it started off in whole pieces and now it's mini pieces. But anyways, on to the coconut lime quinoa. Yeah, I said it. So we're going to do about two cups of quinoa. And if you guys don't know how to make quinoa, go back to my, the description should be up top. It'll break it down how to do the quinoa. And I'm going two cups of coconut. And then I'm going to slice a lime in half. And I'm going to squeeze it. And after I squeeze the lime, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, agua. So about two cups. So it's gonna be two cups of coconut milk and then two cups of lime water. And there we have it. And then I'm just taking the skin of the lime after everything is done. And I put a little cilantro inside mixed everything in and fused it all together and i'm telling you guys this rice was a winner and you know we got to plate it now look how beautiful that plate looks can you guys believe that's all plants that is all plants that are going into your body that is good for you that is god giving I'm gonna call it God's givings. And okay, I just put a little sauce on the side to dip my plantains in. Now, if you guys aren't too into the spicy food, then take the seeds out of the serrano peppers and it should be a little bit more mild or add a little bit more brown sugar. But anywho, there you have it. Oh, <laughs> That plate looks oh I, I i'm gonna tell you at this point i could not wait to dig in that happy dance you know what i mean you know when you're like hungry and like the food's really good you like give it this happy dance you know i guess that's what food does to us but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed making it yes sir and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Okay, Diet Badass fam, we are back, baby. We are back. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time and watching my content. That is greatly appreciated. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. And I will keep putting out great content for each and every one of you to watch. And also, if you guys end up making this, please hit me up on the comments. Let me know how it was. Follow me on Instagram. Tag me on some pictures. I want to see how you guys take in this information and how you apply it for yourself. You feel me? Anyways, um, I guess this is the end of the video. You all know what time it is. So if you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget, to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Peace.